I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY mobile bar. Hey guys, CJ here with Starter Builds. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I created this bar. Now, this can be done for indoor or outdoor use. I'll have links down in the description below to the videos that I followed, as well as some plans linked to the ones that I modified. Essentially what I'm doing here is adding pocket holes for those support pieces, which you'll see later in the video. I'm going to use pocket holes for everything to attach this. Now you could use some three inch wood screws, whatever method will work for you to keep this bar top nice, strong, and sturdy. Now I'm cutting down all of my braces for the actual frame. I'll have uh, a detailed sheet down below for all the materials that you'll need if you want to go ahead and create this bar. So by now you should have all of your pieces cut and we're going to start assembling the frame. Again, I'm using two and a half inch pocket hole screws here. I'm making sure that everything is square as I'm putting these pieces together. You'll see later in the video what this will actually look like once it's actually all put together. We're going to use some supporting pieces with two by fours, uh, which you'll be able to see within the plans linked down below. Once you have both outside pieces constructed, we're going to go ahead and put two by fours across the bottom and the top for the supporting pieces. We'll then go back in and put supporting two by four braces in there. That way we'll have nice strong shelves as we go ahead and put those in as well. What's up? CJ here with Starter Builds and I want to walk you through what I have so far for this basement bar. And so far what we have is the main structure here. And basically all I did was construct this out of four four by fours and about I think five two by fours uh, for the two different shelves here. So basically what I'm going to have to do for the rest of these is in place those two different shelves, start constructing the top of the bar top here as well. So stay tuned for the rest of the build guys. Now we can go ahead and start to put in our boards for the shelves. Again, I'm using fence boards here. You could use two by sixes. I just want to use fence boards as I like the look. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cut out notches on the corners where the fence boards or two by sixes meet the two by fours. Best way to do that is with a jigsaw. And then I actually attach these with two inch brad nails to the supporting frames of the two by fours underneath. We've completed the bottom shelf. We're going to be working on the top shelf. I'm using two by sixes for the top shelf and I went ahead and gave it a nice burn look to the top. And again, you're going to want to cut those notches out where they meet the four by fours. I'm going to be attaching these with two inch brad nails. And there you go. There's your bottom and top shelf. Now we can go ahead and start to assemble this and then we can actually start to uh, assemble the bar top. So that last piece you just saw me put in right now currently is the structure where the bar top is going to sit on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these casters in there. I just went and picked up some casters from my local big box store and I'm attaching these with three inch screws. I want to be able to move the bar around my basement or if you were to put this outside, you can move it around your patio or your deck. Uh, I think it gives it a little bit more versatility and modularity. 
Now we're moving forward to the bar top. I went with that similar burned look. Again, I'm just attaching these all with pocket hole screws. You'll actually be able to see the dimensions for this in the plans linked down below. It's fairly easy to put together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this bar top on top of that supporting piecing. And to do that, I just did that with two inch wood screws as well. And finally, to wrap up the bar, we're gonna attach these fence boards to the sides and to the front. And then I'm also gonna put some supporting two by four pieces to the front of the bar top. As you can see, it has a little bit of slag in it. So I wanted to go in and add some supporting pieces, but that's pretty much the entire build of the bar. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in learning how to build these DIY bar stools, I'll have a link to that video as well. Thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below on the projects that you're working on, as well as what other projects you'd like to see on Starter Builds.